Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to show you how Repeaters works now in Azure 10 RP Beta. So let's go straight to the video, but before, subscribe to the channel, activate the bell, put a like, a comment, and that's it, let's get started. And so here we are inside Axure. So today, as we said, we are going to talk about how Repeaters works inside Axure RP10 Beta. So uh, as we said uh, on the on a previous video, on the first video that I did uh, on Axure RP10, uh, we saw that we have two types of tables now. Uh, we have the repeater tables and the card table, okay? So let's go to the card table first. First thing that we see is something really amazing that they could have done before, essentially, but it's really appreciated that they, they, they implemented into actual RP10. And is basically the fact that the uh, data table, the repeater data table, uh, comes now with a new floating widget, uh, finally, that is not attached inside the, the sidebar that was so complicated always to scroll back and forth uh, up and down to see all the, uh, the the elements inside it was was a fucking mess before now finally they find this solution that I think it's really great and and one thing that we have to see that is really uh, changing uh, and uh, blowing my mind is that uh, the behavior is actually almost the same as before in the sense that you can add rows, uh, you can add columns, uh, but you see now it's uh, far more visual, you know, the things. And the best thing is that now you don't have to link anything anymore together. So the widget inside the repeater, so let's say the, the, um, uh, the image, the header, uh, the columns, you, before you had to basically to link uh, this to the specific columns. Now you do it, you do everything from this uh, repeater data table. Yes, why? Because actually you click on connect widget and you choose the widget. This is amazing. You know, you click image and here now you reference or you import an image. For example, I don't know, I can take an image, uh, whatever, import image, and I can put whatever I want inside. And I, I don't have to link anything anymore. That's, that's mind blowing because actually they, they did a, a really big, big improvement on this. Okay, and that, that's actually cool because, for example, if now I would like to put, uh, for example, I don't know, a button, a label, a label button inside, and I want to change this, etc. So now we have a new element, for example, and so uh, the only thing that I have to do is uh, add the new columns, connect the widget to the button, okay. The button I, I, I can change the name of the button for example uh, blah uh, is the first uh, blah blah two is the second and you see it populates automatically isn't it amazing it's 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 mind-blowing isn't it and this is how it works uh, everywhere other thing that they did as we saw in the first video the good thing is that now you can uh, drag and drop repeaters also from these action toolbars. And if I click repeaters, now I can create directly giant um, repeaters, tables actually, uh, with, with fake data inside. And it's, it's already everything linked. It's, it's what we needed. And that, that's great. Uh, also, this video is finished. I hope you enjoyed it and please, as usual, subscribe to the channel, put a like, a comment and see you in the next video. Bye!